it's not that you'll never get at, at, to that level. It's just that it would require you to invest as much time, you know? Yeah. And of course there's, there's genetic component to, to it, to it too. You know, like you might not, uh, um, like be, for example, being explosive mm -hmm. is hot. It's, it's a genetic thing. You could train to be more explosive, but only to your, up to your genetic limit. People don't understand that. People think that, oh, if I train a certain way, if I train, there's protocol, trading protocols that will allow you to be more explosive. Not true. Not true. You're born with what you, you, born, you, you got what you got. You're born with it. That's it. So what that means is that um, some people, okay, can contract their muscles. Um, you recruit their muscle fibers. Uh, let's say 50% of them. 50% of their muscle fibers, they could recruit in like one, one go, right? And then other people can recruit 70. Other people can recruit 80. So the amount of muscle fibers that you're able to recruit, right, is genetic. Hmm. <laughs> it's determined by genetics. So you're That's explosive. Fascinating. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm, I'm studying this and I'm learning this because I'm always evolving. I'm not, I'm not the type of trainer uh, or coach who, who uh, just, you know, read a couple of books, did a couple of certificates and that's it. And then, you know, and pe people fall into that because then they're busy working and they never uh, look for more. Right. But I always want to understand more and, and find, um, find the truth, so to speak, mm. so that I could use it on myself mainly. <laughs> Look, I didn't know that. That's, that's something that I learned today because I, I didn't really know that there was, I, I'm, I'm, of course, I'm aware there are genetic and biomechanical and biological differences Advantages we have. And a lot exactly. of people now yeah exactly a lot of people now kind of argue that arguing that everything is socially constructed it's it's, it's not or can be acquired of course it's not uh, but i didn't know specifically that the explosiveness was 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 so determined by by your genetic as you say that's that's fascinating i wonder if there's any way to understand what's what's your genetic allows you to do what what is that what is that your limit mm, you know um i remember there being some tests it has to do with your muscle uh, fast your, your muscle fibers right mm. because you got essentially uh three types of muscle fibers let's say you got slow twitch medium twitch and fast twitch how much proportional fast twitch okay. versus medium and you know so that's going to uh determine how explosive you could actually be mm. that's it that's pretty much it. And then after that, how hard you, and, and of course, if you have more fast twitch muscle fibers, it means you could contract a lot harder. Uh, you could recruit more, more muscle fibers when you contract. So because you could recruit more, you could accelerate faster. So you could, you're more explosive. That's hmm. it. So now if you're a skinny dude and you're made to be explosive, then if you get bigger and stronger, you'll be even more explosive. Uh, you know, you it's not because the, it's not because you, you did any kind of special training to become more explosive. No, it's because you got your big, your muscles bigger and stronger. So that's, that's, and you're already like predisposed to be explosive. Right. And right. that's what it is. But if you, if you, if you don't have those, uh, everybody has a mix of those, right? Slow twitch, fast switch, uh, slow, medium, fast. Uh, some of the, some people have more medium or more slow or whatever. So those people, they're not going to, they, they could do whatever they want under the sun, any kind of protocol that they see on the internet, people promising them that, oh, you could like attach a rubber band to your hand and punch and you're going to be more explosive. No, you're not like, <laughs> no, you're not. It's, it's just gonna, it's actually probably good. It's, it's always, and from my understanding at this point, and from my own experience, it's a step in the wrong direction to, to try to mimic uh, sports movements or martial art movements by, and using resistance against it. Right. If you lift weights, you lift weights, you get big and strong, and then you go practice your, your skill, you know, so mm -hmm. you separate the two and it's a better way of doing it. You'll get less injuries and all, uh, but all that to say that for the guy who has, who's not explosive by nature, and you know, if you're explosive or not, like it, it shows at a very early, like, uh, I wouldn't say a very early age, but you could tell like, um, you know, like if somebody's explosive and they know if they're explosive, you know, because it's always the kid who jumps higher than everybody else who runs faster than everyone else. Like, you know, in high school, right? Like you, right, there's right, just right. kids who are like, they already have abs and they don't do nothing. And they're, you know, they're like 10 years old, hmm. you know? So, so, but if right, you're right. not one of those guys and you're, you're, you're like, you know, you could be like, like, um, uh, you could, you could max out your genetics. Let's say for example, you're, uh, you're, you're a kid, you're a skinny kid and you're not that, uh, you know, you're, you're not that explosive. 
Now, if you get bigger and stronger, you're going to become more explosive, but only to your genetic limit, to what you're predisposed to be. But you hmm. can never compare yourself to the, the kid who, uh, who just has it. You know, he could just, he just, he just burns everybody like in a, in, in, in a hundred meter dash, you mm. know, who could like jump. Uh, I don't know how many feet up, like you do box jumps, like all day long and he could touch, you know? So mm -hmm. you're not, you're not going to catch, you're not going to be that guy. So to get back to you, what, we're, what I was saying that like, you could actually be at a very high level in martial arts. Let's say two people being genetically equal. One of them is a professional at a very high level. And then the other one isn't and uh, because he just didn't, you know, you have to look at the rate of progression. Like if one guy has been training for 20 years and you've been training for, uh, you know, five, well, obviously you got 15 years, he, ha he has 15 years yeah. on him. But if you had the same amount of time, right, everything else being equal, you would be just as good as him. Hmm. If, if everything being equal, genetics is the same, right? You right. both have great genetics. Uh, and then um, he spent 20 years uh, you know, boxing, you spent 20 years teaching, you know, and, and doing other stuff with your life. It's not that you can't be like him. It's just that you would have to invest the same amount of time. Right, right, right. So it's, it's, yeah, no, I, I see what you're saying. And it's really interesting. So understanding what's your, what's your potential is and getting, you know, whatever path to get to that potential, but there's a certain amount of investment that you have to make. It's like you're, you're banking for your retirement. One thing, if you start banking, you know, a little, you know, amount of money or whatever money when you're 18 and you progress. And one thing, if you start when you're 40, if you start at your 40, you want to have the same output. You say, you know, let's say the same pot, you got to put more money into that. That's, mm -hmm. that's no other way around. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and you know, like, um, and, and the problem sometimes when we start older is that, you know, we, we already accumulate a lot of injuries. We're, we're busy. Mm. We don't have much, as much time. We have a lot of responsibilities, you know, towards work, towards family, towards, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. And, uh, you know, we just can't dedicate that amount of time, but it doesn't mean that you're, you wouldn't be able to be as good as that person. If you, uh, invested that same amount of time. And I used to look up at, um, I remember when I started Brazilian jiu-jitsu or even when mm. I was younger, like. Yeah, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and I would see guys who were like, um, or uh, really good, even in judo or any sport. You know, I would see them like, wow, these guys are really good. I would be really impressed by them, and I would like, I, I would kind of put them on a pedestal in my mind. You know, and now, uh, you know, like, oh, this guy's like really high level, and you know, he deserves respect and all that. And um, now, like, uh, I come to realize that, you know what? If I were if I like, um, cause I understand my genetics now. And, and, and I believe mm -hmm. that if I, if circumstances would have been different as a youth, when I was a kid and, um, um, I got a little bit more support, uh, from my parents, you know, I could have easily been in the Olympics in a martial art, in a combat sport in martial mm -hmm. arts, easily in the Olympics. And I believe I could have been podium. And that's why now I don't put anybody on a pedestal anymore. Like when I, when I meet somebody who's super high level, I respect, I absolutely respect everybody, whether they're, they've achieved something so-called achieved something great, or they did it doesn't matter to me. Person's a person, you know, I just see them for, for, as a person, as a human being right now, when I see somebody super high level now, I respect what they did, <laughs> but I also realized that if I had the chance, I would have done that too. Mm -hmm. you know but i didn't have the chance you know uh and 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 that's that's just the way it goes so my current skill level even though i get beat by by a guy who's like uh who's ex-national team member he's been doing this for 15 years yeah but i've been doing it for you know uh for six so obviously i can't compete with you and you're younger right. too and so you know but i know that i could be very comp i would i would be i would have been able to compete with you if you gave me the same amount of time definitely I would have been able to compete and maybe beat your ass too. So in my mind, that's where I see it now. It's like no, nothing, none of these guys, not that I don't respect them, but it doesn't impress me to that extent anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, like I, I, I'm impressed with the drive and, and, and the drive to win the dedication, the commitment, the sacrifices they did and all that, you know, but I'm not, I'm not impressed by the, the, um, uh, the so-called result because I know I, that could have been me. That easily mm -hmm. could have been me. Like you tweaked a couple of things that like uh, growing up I, I, and I was put into the right circumstances, I would have been like uh, an Olympian, you know, easily, easily. And that's what I wanted, you know? 
And that's why now I'm training, I'm competing, because I'm just essentially living out my childhood uh, fantasies, you know? <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously, Olympics is out of the question, but well, being the best that I could be, like w- with where I started, where I started at 36 in judo, th- that's what I'm going to do. And, and that's okay with me, you know? 